five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Go Super Heavy. Go Starship. Thanks for all the historic flights, Pad 1. Vehicles catching downrange. Booster Raptor chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship, nominal power and telemetry. All right, we are about 45 seconds into flight. We're still getting the rattle here at Star Factory. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it arcs across the Gulf. Coming up next on Max-Q. Max-Q. So at this point, we've passed through that period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. The next thing we're looking forward to is going to be hot staging. So we've got 33 out of 33 Raptors lit. Super Heavy makes its way uphill. Hot staging is going to be coming up uh, in just a little over a minute. At that point, we're going to see all but three of those Raptor engines on Super Heavy shut down. Our version of Miko. Uh, most engines cut off instead of main engine. And then after that, we're going to release the clamps that are currently holding Starship to that hot stage adapter. It's then going to ignite its six Raptor engines to push it away from Super Heavy and then start making its flight uphill. So in about 30 seconds, we're going to see the engine start to shut down on Super Heavy. You'll see them kind of shut off in separate banks until we've just got those three center engines that never stop running for this process and then looking for six ship raptors ship ignition stage separation use back burn startup All right, successful hot staging maneuver. So we've got 12 of the 13 engines lit back up on boosters, so it's doing its boost back. Real real excitingly, ship, though, we've got six out of six Raptors lit on ship there, so it's now going to continue to make its ascent into outer space. Meanwhile, this boost back is happening. We're using those 13 engines, uh, so everything, well, 12 out of the 13, and then we go down to three, and then we're going to shut down for the end of boost back. That's sending super heavy back Should towards its planned splashdown zone in the Gulf. Right after we finish this boost back burn, we're also going to separate the hot stage. This will be the final time boost that we're doing down. this. Is All right, there's the end of the boost back burn. We should be seeing the hot stage. So the hot stage separates, it's gonna make its way down, also splash down in the Gulf. In the meantime though, these six ship Raptors are going to continue fire, firing for about five more minutes. Next up for the booster though, is going to be its landing burn. There's a cool tracking shot. We dump some of the prop out on our way back in. All right, so for booster, this is one of the main things we're trying to get is going to be this landing burn. Oh, that's so you can see the hot stage kind of making its way towards the very the left side. So that's the bottom of the booster. It's about to pass right in front of where you can see some of that prop dump happening. They look like they're close together, but there's a good amount of distance between them and the hot stage will go down and splash down in the gulf while the booster comes back for its landing burn. Starship is on nominal trajectory. And we're just Ship about 20 seconds away. 
from landing burn start, where we'll ig first ignite the center 13 engines, then bring that down to five to slow down the booster for landing. And finally, that will come down to three, and we'll cut all of them off while we're still about 200 meters in the air. So booster is going to see a bit of a hard <laughs> Booster landing will start it. Booster landing burn shut down. And there we heard it. Booster landing burn shut down. We saw a 13 to 5 to 3 V3, V3 demonstration. And into the water we go. Wow. That was absolutely awesome. If you can even hear us right now, congrats to the whole <laughs> SpaceX team. So far, so good for today. That was incredible. Ship still making its way. We've got a little under two minutes left in this ascent burn. So we've got all six Raptor engines still firing. So the next the next major milestone we're going to be looking for is Seco. That's our second stage engine cutoff. That's uh, should be coming right at about eight minutes and fifty eight seconds into flight. So we've got about a minute twenty still to go. Really cool to see Booster go through that. Uh, that landing burn that was one of our like really key demonstrations we wanted to try and do today um, is that's mimicking what we're going to be hopefully doing oh we just got our sonic boom sounds like from the booster <laughs> coming back all right less than a minute to go so we are going to see the three rvax the vacuum optimized engines shut down first and then we'll shut down those three center engines so we should be a little under a minute until Seco. Just a reminder, this is putting us into a suborbital trajectory, so we're intentionally just going slow enough that we're not going to achieve full orbit. This puts us on a course where those engines shut off, and no matter what, we're coming back. Starship is in terminal guidance. In the Indian Ocean. All right, terminal guidance. So we should start seeing the shutdowns come up in just a couple seconds, less than 30 seconds to go in this ship ascent burn. All right, our vacs have shut off. Three more to go. Ship engine cut off. All right, all ship Raptors have shut Nominal down. Nominal orbit insertion. You just heard nominal orbital insertion, so we are on the path that we wanted to be. So we've got a ship back in space, a whole lot ship planned for it, safe. lots more still to come. Great seeing Super Heavy make its way to the water, uh, but I'm excited to see what ship can do in space. How's everybody doing down there? Yeah, if you could hear the crowd behind us this whole time, people are definitely happy with how the day's been panning out so far. Definitely exciting to see Starship safely in space and super pumped to see all the team's hard work in action here today. Yeah, and we guaranteed it at the start of the show, but it has been an awesome day so far. It's crazy. All this has happened in just 10 minutes. All the objectives were met on the booster, including that V3-style landing burn. So now all eyes are on the ship as we get ready for our in-space objectives. Look inside the payload. We've got eight Starlink simulators getting ready to make their way into outer space. Looks like we got a little bit of movement there, Dan. Coax it out. Get it moving, Jake. There we go. All right. First one going out. All right, first one's deployed. Getting ready for the second one here. We do a little reset back to the center position. Yeah, it takes about a minute for each one. Yeah. 
looks real smooth too. They made a couple of tweaks to those rails. If you watched the last ones, it had a couple of bumps on the way out, but moving out super clean this time. Yeah, and as noted earlier in the show, but definitely worth repeating, Starship will deploy Starlink's more advanced V3 satellites, adding 60 terabits per second of capacity to the network per launch. Uh, so that's 20 times more than each Falcon 9 launch does today. Just incredible. Flaps holding strong. Landing burn in just under 20 seconds. Ship landing startup. There's our landing burn. Three down to two. Starship has landed. As we said, we're not planning on recovering the ship today. Hey, welcome back to Earth, Starship. We are down in the Indian Ocean. Let them hear at Starbase. What a day 